You may now begin your presentation. We live in a disconnected society. Cultural difference, generation gap, and economic difficulties. People under economic difficulties are not guaranteed the minimum time that they could spend with their lovers and maintain a healthy life. Due to the urgent economic matters in front of them, they cannot enjoy their spare time or fulfill their individual needs. Time for conversations and interaction decreased. Most of their personal relationships are limited in only business-like matters. We consider our dis disconnected people as different needs, especially economic difficulty of many small traders in Korea are different because of increasing number of franchise store and giant company which expand commercial supremacy. This interrupt their interaction with society. What they need is communication. Communication leads towards the disconnected relations in mankind and it leads to human relationships. Communication is a bridge. We build bridge between people. We break the wall of economic difficulties that obstruct interaction and build a bridge named communication. Let us introduce our first bridge, Bichan. We believe many people have the experience of living alone. Here at our university, there are about 1,500 students who live by themselves. Four out of six people in Bichan team are also self-working students. Living alone, we often run into financial problems or difficulties that lead from lack of experience. Especially, cooking and eating a nutritious meal every day is a burden for self-working students. Moreover, due to the high expenses of eating out, students are exposed to low price instant food. This data shows how university students spend their money from their budget. A, a remarkable point is that 45% of their money spending is on food expenses. It is the greatest ratio of their money spending, which is almost a half of their total budget. Since the self born students eat out very often, food, exp food expenses are a big burden for them. Next, according to the report on the ratio of regular meals, while 86% of the day students have their meals regularly, only 40% of the self born students have their meals regularly. Moreover, only 26% of the day students eat out twice, more than twice a day, whereas self born students who eat out more than twice a day which is 40%. It definitely proves that self born students hardly maintain their health compared to the day students. There are lots of small scale enterprises which form the local business district in our society. How many small scale enterprises survive in the harsh competition? This is the data about the reality of independent businessmen. More than half population of independent businessmen are going through deficit. Most of, in, uh, most of in, more than only 4.9% are making profit. We in Actus carried out a field study around our university to find a specific target. The area mark lead is self born John near our campus. Our team looked for a small scale restaurant Small scale restaurant considering self boarding students' accessibility. From the research, we found a Bursa restaurant which has low visibility due to a franchise's signboard and the trees. After more research, we chose the independent businesswoman who has the who has the suitable condition for our project and was going through some economic problems. The businesswoman founded the store last year. Since she loves cooking and interacting with other people, running a restaurant was the perfect job for her. Despite this, she was experiencing difficulties due to lack of know-how in management and economic problems. Gichan is special for 
not only fulfilling the buyer's needs, but also the producer's needs. The producer has two needs, which are economic profit and communication with buyers. To add more, the buyers have needs of reasonable price of meals with keeping their healthy eating habits. For those independent businessmen who need financial help, may enhance their wealth through pizza projects. It will certainly bring them stable incomes. Moreover, those self-boarding students who need healthy meals could receive balanced diet meals with reasonable <coughs> price. Therefore, Pichan Project satisfies the buyers and producers with their own needs at the same time. From this point, the win-win strategy goes into the center of Pichan Project. It cannot be more special. Competitiveness of Pichan Group can be divided into two major features. First feature is well-made, and the second one is homemade. Based on these two features, Pichan provides students with healthy and balanced diets. Now, we will explain these two features. As we can see, Korean people have high intake of artificial seasoning. Most of restaurants in Korea add MSG in their food. So it is a serious problem for those who live on their own, uh, as they tend to eat out more often. However, Bichan does not contain, contain any MSG. It's not made, but well made. The second feature is homemade. All vegetables we use are organic. Biji Suman has a small field where she grows various vegetables. Since all the vegetables are grown by themselves, they are fresh and valuable. An average price of a meal from local restaurants is about 6,000 won. Compared to this, Pichan presents a reasonable price for the student. One Pichan set, which costs 7,900 won, consists of three side dishes. With one, students can have three to four meals. The price has been set after a thorough survey from 300 students. By accepting the voices of the students, Pichan has become a competitive food service organization for them. By using a pre-order system by messenger, we are able to reduce the amount of food waste. Furthermore, by using glass containers instead of plastic containers, Pichan has added an eco-friendly compliance for customers. Pichan has been making effort to communicate with customers through continuous feedback to reflect their opinions in the system. The sales volume of Pichan for the first half of 2013 was 120 sets per month on average, and net income was 1,512,501. The sales volume for the first half of 2014 rose to 115 cents per month on average, and the net income was 1,680,701. Thus, the total net income for past one year was 4,489,001 and this achieved her financial needs. To enhance the brand recognition, which is necessary to raise the number of customers, we developed the promotion pliers and posters. We handed out the pliers and put up the poster in the student union building and the library, where the people move around most. The biggest problem of our first stop was that it was hardly noticed by the pedestrians. With the stories covering the entrance, some didn't even know that it exists there. To solve this geographical problem and improve the, improve the accessibility, we stand up the banner in front of the restaurant. In order to contact with more potential Bichan customer, we have free rice for events during the midterm and final exam periods. By distributing a first time made rice bowl, we could advertise Gichan to hundreds of students. For the Gichan customer, we are continuously work on communicate with them by sending weekly newsletters. It consists of not only the menu of the week, but also the helpful tips on health and the dietary habits. Our Nexus group and the business woman have weekly meetings on Tuesdays. We discuss not only about the appropriate direction of Kitchen project, but also about her life. As the meetings went on, we found out that her fundamental needs were not just about maintaining economic stability. 
She wanted communication. It was hard for her to communicate with the students because there were not many of them coming to the restaurants and she had financial problems. However, Pita solved her difficulties and became a cornerstone for the bridge of communication. <laughs> 사람이 진짜 매력을 마치 보람이 느껴지고 와서 다 맛있게 먹고서 좋아하고 하니까 그게 더큰 보람이죠. 끝까지 끝까지 내 작은 사람 동안에 가는 끝까지 내가 할수 있는 때까지는 내 식구 내가 내 집이다 생각하고 그렇게 왔다가 올 때는 그냥 맛있게 먹어서 그냥 그게 더큰 보람이. 똑같은 내 집밥처럼 내가 또 미루고 와서 뭐 수입하고 안 쓰고 이래가 또 먹어주는 그대로 해주는. 맛있다고 잘못 가면은 거기서 보람을 하고 아 어머니 맛있어요 이러면서 잘 먹었어요 이런 보람이고. Project Bichan consider economic, social and environment factors. Economically, it provide extra profit to business women and allow self-producing students to have cheaper meal. In social aspect. Independent business women suffering from financial difficulties receive competitiveness and therefore could learn her business stably. Plus, through SNS, we form a community of self border which provides helpful information for their health. In environmental aspect, Pita minimizes food waste by pre-order system and uses durable glass containers instead of plastic containers which allow us to conduct our project in long-term perspective. Pichan team and the owner of Gulsa make a blueprint together by weekly meeting. We plan the future of Pichan together and make progress. These are the content of the future plans of Pichan. Many shops around our university close during the vacation. So many students take in summer and winter intensive courses upon deploying. Our people in need sympathize the situation of the students and suggested a well-being meal box. This item was devised based on the communication between the students and business women with our passion towards them. The second plan is implementation of Pichan coupon system. Students will be provided with kimbap or rice bowl in every five visits. Through this, Apple's restaurant will secure the regular customers. Keeping regular customer is significant in terms of communication and forming intimacy as well as raising sales. Pichan customers are going to perform farming activity at her farm. They can check where and how the vegetables they eat in Pichan are grown. This will enhance communication between producer and customer and raise reliability to Pichan ingredients. Pichan operation system is very simple. The circulation system is order, production, receive, turning in the containers in order. It minimizes her time consumption. For the ongoing communication and opinion taking, we are planning to make the Pichan application program so the customers can order Pichan with more convenience. Pichan application will improve the sustainability and have the operation system stable. There are two more universities in Suwon province that we must build Pichan bridges. We want to share the value of Pichan with more people. It will embrace liveliness to the local business district and realize communication between the isolated individual entrepreneurs and self forty students. Our ultimate goal is to spread out Pichan to five more universities in Suwon. Pichan will become a culture of Suwon. Pichan brought positive changes to the life of people in need. Students were provided with healthy and tasty food. And she was provided with stable income and the increased net profit. And the most important element is... More interaction and communication occurred among the people in need. Bridge, we have a way to reach, we are rich. Bridge, we have a way to see, the are Bridge, we have a way to experience, the unexperienced. People build a bridge to interact. Vitalize our 
our people in need. What our society needs is communication. Which are is the bridge? We are the bridge builders. We are leaders.
P&A 시간이 모두 종료되었습니다. 심사위원분들은 준비를 열심히 해주신 친구들에게 뜨거운 박수 부탁드립니다. <웃음>